So quite frankly, root cause is just a system of problem-solving methods aimed at identifying the root causes or problems of incidents. Um, what it really does is it's predicated on the belief that you can solve a problem um, to uh, correct or eliminate root causes as opposed to merely addressing the symptoms. One example I like to give is uh, I had a situation in a QC laboratory where my analyst kept giving me, um, you know, that the pH results were always out of specification. Um, he was having difficulty, uh, you know, just understanding why, uh, you know, this, this had occurred. He, we had switched uh, different uh, analysts and, you know, it wasn't happening for them. When we looked right into it, you know, obviously we would say, well, it's, 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 it's John Doe's issue. He's probably improperly trained. Let's just retrain him. Um, that's addressing the obvious system that the, that the analyst, he just, you know, had issues and he just needed to be retrained. But if you look into that investigation, as we did, and we audited him and watched him do the process, he knew how to take a pH, um, you know, just as well as the other analyst that conducted the test. However, he was pulling from, um, he was pulling buffer from a cabinet uh, that we had no idea existed, uh, and the buffer that was in there was actually expired. So obviously he's going to be having issues because he's using expired buffer. So if we didn't do that full force or that full, uh, you know, root cause investigation, we would have never arrived at that uh, smoking gun that he was using expired buffer. We would still be uh, treating the obvious symptom of, you know, poor John Doe was, wasn't trained properly. So then obviously when we, um, you know, put the corrective measures at the root causes, um, the problem was minimized, obviously.